for joining me today for this short trauma sensitive yoga class. There is no specific way to practice yoga. So if there is a form or shape that doesn't feel good in your body today, then come out of it. That's perfectly fine. You are the one who chooses to practice and how to practice. And if you just, after you start, you feel like you've had enough for the day, you're welcome to stop at any time. Or just get into a comfortable shape for your body. Stand in mountain with your feet about fist widths apart. You can stay like this if this is comfortable for you today. Or you can bring your heart, your hands to heart center. You can breathe here at your own pace. Turn to face the right side of your mat. You can gently bow down towards your mat. Reaching to your knees, your ankles, the mat if it's in your practice today. If it feels good, you can grab opposite elbows. Leave your hands wherever is most comfortable for you today. Lower your hands back to the mat. Push up into halfway. Then lower back down to the mat. If at any time you feel uncomfortable in any way, you can sit. You might want to reach towards your knees. Come back up halfway. Step back with your left foot at a 45 degree angle. Your right knee over your right ankle. You can rise up into warrior one. The option to put your hands at your waist, make sure it's facing the front of the mat if that's available to you. Or you could bring your hands to heart center. If you choose to, you can even raise your arms up on either side of your ear so that the fingers point up towards the ceiling. If you like, you can lower your hands. Slide them sideways back behind you. You just gently bow towards your right knee. If it feels
feels good, you can wrap your arms under your thigh just to hold yourself more steady. Or you can bring your hands down to the mat. Hands to the knees, push back up, hands to heart center, back into warrior one. Turn your left foot out to a 90 degree angle as you open up to the side into warrior two. Keep the right knee bent and look out over your left and your right fingers. You can keep your gaze there or you can lower it to the floor. You can always back out of that bend in the right knee. And choose to bring your hands to your hips. Straighten that right leg and turn your right foot facing in the same direction as your left foot. Hands to heart center. Turn your left foot towards the short side of your mat, keeping your right foot at a 90 degree angle. Bend that left knee and open your arms to the side in warrior two on the other side. You can look out over your left fingers we can look down to the ground or off into the distance. Whatever is best for you today, it's up to you. You can back out of the bend in that front knee, or you can keep it bent. Hands to hips, turn left towards that knee and bow down towards your mat. Hands on either side of the left foot. Or you can put your hands on your knees or leave it on your hips. And if this is just too much, you can always come into the mountain pose, the standing pose, or you can sit on the ground. If your hands are on the mat, bring them up to your knee, push up, straighten your knee, and bend it as you bring the back foot to a 45 degree angle. Turn to the left side, Hands to the hips, you're back in warrior one. Option for hands at heart center or arms above your head. Option to come in and out of it as to ease any discomfort you might feel. On the next inhale, step your right foot forward to meet your left. Hands at heart center. Bow to your mat. You can breathe at whatever pace is comfortable for you. It's also 
also um, an option to bend your knees if you can't comfortably reach the mat. Raise up halfway, back down, and slowly roll back up to standing. You can bring your, your shoulders up to your ears and roll them down your back. Palms facing forward. Thank you for joining me today and sharing your practice.